guys. Um, at the store for the first time in a minute in H-E-B grocery store since we've been able to get out. What is this? Uh, I guess it's you gotta really wash this stuff. But then how you gonna wash it without water, right? Um, I feel like I have a cabbage at home, but it may not be good. I don't know if I want a cabbage or not. I wash it some kind of way. <laughs> but other things still like this asparagus. Oh, I bought some too. I don't know if they're still good, but I hope so. But anyway, this is the store. This is what the store is looking like as far as when it comes to produce. I'm going to see if they have eggs. And uh, if they don't, well, they have very little fruit. No, <laughs> very little. Oh, wow. So look at the meat, you guys. <laughs> Take heed, take heed. Remember, none of this caught God by surprise. Um, none of this caught him by surprise. <clears throat> I'm surprised they still have stuff like this. I really am. But there is nothing, no chicken, nothing. Nothing at all. <clears throat> what is this? What is that? Oh, stuff. I don't even eat that. I don't, mm -mm. They got plenty of lunch meat, but they're not cutting it because they can't clean their dishes. And I understand ham. So, they have this type of items. Uh, hey, when you're hungry, you eat a sausage sandwich in a minute. Boil that water if, if we have it. Uh, use what we have. They don't have any eggs, which is what I was actually looking for. But they don't have any eggs, so... Oh, I see chicken, but I have food. I, you know, by the grace of God, hold on. God, I have meat in my freezer. My meat never, uh, never unthawed. So, thank God for that. So anyway, I just wanted to bring y'all along with us. My mom had to come pick up a medication. But um, I'm not going to be in here too long. So I'm going to go help my mom clean out her refrigerator. Everything's going to go in the garbage. Um, and then we'll see... You know, they have a lot of this food here because with le without electricity, you can't cook this, right? This here. Um, but people find ways to cook things. Like, I was really surprised. They have a lot of these things here. And they have actually all of these for people that are on keto. That is like a keto dream. I didn't see the, oh, they got buffalo chicken strips. I'm going to get these. I almost have like every one of these. Um, sweet teriyaki. I'm not going to do that one, but I will do this one. Yeah, so, like I said, they have no eggs. They have fish. They still have fish left. Why, nobody buys this stuff. I guess because it doesn't fill you, but it tastes good, but it don't fill you. I cannot stand tilapia, and I guess I'm not alone. But, yeah, so they have no eggs and stuff like that of that nature, so... Anyway, I'm going to get ready to go and see what all my mom has. It has to be thrown out today uh, from her lower part of her refrigerator. And um, I'll be talking to you guys later on. Um, I don't know. I don't think they have eggs anywhere. They do have eggs. I can't find them. But they don't have any eggs in here. So, I'm good. Keto. You learn to be fat adapted. You learn to depend on other things other than um, certain foods that they have. But it's not just about me. Um, think about other people and what they may be going through and what they may be, you know, the kiddos and, you know, hearing that, you know, that are looking for food items. So anyway, you guys, um, it's not easy when you have to tell the kids that you don't have these things such as fruits or, ooh, they got my vein. Um, stuff of that nature. So, but anyway, um, like I said, we're gonna go see what all my mom has to throw away. Let me show you how H-E-B is price gouging. Hold on, guys. I'm back, I'm back. Thank you, you too. All right, so y'all didn't tell me I was walking around here without a mask on. Thank God I was six feet. 20 feet, 30 feet. <laughs> so anyway, um, y'all, this is my drink here. I'm going to try. They have all kind of flavors. Look at this. Birthday cake. Oh, okay. I have tried almost every flavor except, have I tried citrus twist? Hold on. I have tried almost every flavor. Ooh, this one is really good. 
Girl, I know who you was. Mm -hmm. I was like, who is that bank? Don't be pulling up on me. They don't have no eggs and stuff. Hold on. All right, guys. So I tried almost every one of these. I have not tried sour heads because I don't do sour. Yeah. And uh, they got a citrus twist. They got all kind of bangs. I found out bangs are really good. Purple guava pear. Oh, that sounds good. All right, let's go. I'm just going to try get these two. Okay. <laughs> Wait. I don't want no pina colada. <clears throat> they got some good ones that's good. This one good, Power Punch. Yes, ma'am. You want the pina colada. Yeah, these are good. And I found out, <clears throat> let me show them. I, I found out that this COQ10 is good for you. Oh. I also found out that we need amino acid in our body. So, Which one is that? this is Power Punch. This one tastes good, too. I try to they're get away from, yeah, they're good. The Power Punch. Yeah. <clears throat> Where is it? <clears throat> yeah. All right. I just, we're going to go pay for this stuff. Um, and then uh, go in, like I said, see what the damage is at my mom's as far as the refrigerator wise because everything else is safe. And uh, go clean, you know. Now it's time for the cleaning. Mm -hmm. But through it all you guys I'm gonna make another video and I'm just gonna tell y'all everything that happened in the midst of us being without power and water here in my hometown Corpus Christi Texas stay tuned um, I have a lot to say but um, I hope what I say will bless you so I love you guys and I'll see you in the later part of this video He got one magazine. Uh, that's it? <laughs> one magazine. He ain't no truck scanner. I man. know it. Ain't no mail been running. <laughs> Who did he do plants? Ooh. She loved her plants. All right, you guys. So, yeah. This is where the elderly people live in this neighborhood. Nightmare for them because they had no lights. Some of these people, one lady's 101. And um, couldn't get to them. One of the providers tried to come and, and uh, get to one of them, but she uh, lost control of her car and she totaled her vehicle. So still was no, uh, it was no help. My trunk is some. Okay, look, we're not gonna have this. See, that means something is blocking it. Oh, like a pillow. There we go. Yeah. So it's just been. Uh, oops, oops, oops. Okay, as soon as I opened the door, this is what happened. Okay, yeah, anyway, um, there's something to have candles, uh, no lights, no food, no water. I was very concerned in the moment for, the, uh, for me. Um, I was concerned. I was just blessed that my mom had to get to teeth pulled, and I was just so happened able to, um, uh, she had to stay with me regardless. She was bleeding too much. And, uh, you know, but God had a plan. He had a plan. And therefore, she ended up with me. So I just thank God for that. But all right, you, I was going to talk to y'all a little bit because I don't want to talk about this too much in front of my mama. I don't want to get her, you know. All right, y'all know. In my house, and as I open up my refrigerator, it saddens me. It saddens me up <clears throat> as I look at... Whew, help me, Lord, as I look at food that we buy, that we leave out, or, you know, I don't even know what's good, what's not, but I'm throwing away the stuff that's in here, like, before I left here, we're going to make a roast. I don't believe it's good. Um, I'm not going to chance it, so I'm going to throw it away because of the fact I do not know if it's good. I don't think that my refrigerator kept it cold long enough. Um, milk and items of that choice. Food we had cooked before all of this went down. We had cooked food. My mother and I uh, had cooked some food. But you know, guys, as I said here, and I talked to God. 
And I tell God, I apologize. And I repent for buying food that <clears throat> that we buy too much of. We buy, look at all of that. We buy so much stuff. And we don't use all the food that we get. And now here we are. Throwing away food items. That, um, stuff that did not get eaten. Uh, I buy these back here because... I use them because I do keto <clears throat> and maybe we buy too much I don't know I don't trust any things I don't trust the berries as you can see my strawberries have mold on them good indication that it wasn't cold enough in here <sighs> I don't trust the creamers <clears throat> I don't know I don't trust the milk uh, this is almond milk brand new bottle don't trust that now my juices <clears throat> I probably can my juices are probably good. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. But it just now I'm, I'm heartbroken because of the items that we buy and we don't use. This is ground beef. Didn't get to use this either. Um, gonna throw this in the trash. It's just so much when you just think about the things that we sometimes overbuy at the grocery store. Um, this was some soup, a big old pot of soup that my mom had made, which is definitely no good. Uh, just a lot of stuff I had made some, uh, no good. This was a big old pan of, um, of meatloaf I had made for my children to come and eat if they wanted some meatloaf. 